Hey folks, I want to talk about one of my favorite tools and an update that it just got and explain why I really like this update. Uh, I'm a big fan of Snagit uh, and TechSmith stuff in general. I'm using Camtasia to make this screen recording and to edit and all that stuff, but Snagit's going to make it a lot easier for me to do things, especially with my students. So let's talk about that just a little bit here. I'm going to switch over to Snagit 2023 uh, and we can see that the interface looks the same. Uh, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to go into the capture menu. Once I'm in there, I want to make sure I have video set up and then I'll click capture and it will allow me to go through and figure out what I want to capture exactly. I can just click on full screen and I'll grab that there. We do have something new inside of Snagit, which is really awesome. Down here on the bottom left hand side, we have this little draw option and you can use keyboard shortcuts as well. But when I do that, I can change the color of the items I'm drawing, which I'll talk about in just a moment. We have steps that we can do. We have squares, uh, which will allow us to draw things out. And then we have arrows. Uh, so let's click record here and uh, it's going to do its little countdown thing. This menu will not pop up on the recording itself. It'll show up on this recording because we're doing it inside of Camtasia. But let's say we're trying to direct somebody how to get to a login page. So I have my arrow tool selected and all I'm going to do is click, hold and drag. And now I can say, hey, that's how you get to the profile. And it's going to capture that and eventually it will fade out. And I could stop the recording right now, edit and cut off the front and back. It has a voice option as well, but it allows me to really easily just kind of set stuff up. Maybe I want to set up a step-by-step uh, -step thing. So I'm going to say, hey, first you need to click up here. Then you need to go over to free download. Then you need to, uh, let's say, just click on the play button so you can see exactly what Camtasia is doing. It will keep track record of all those for you and they'll fade out over time. And then the final thing you can do here is you can go through and say, hey, make sure you take a look at the free download and buy area. If you're interested, you can buy. If you're other interested, you could download it and see how it works. It does give you the ability to change colors. Right now, there's only four. And I believe you can change what these default ones are uh, based off your theme. Uh, I have just the default theme and I usually use this color here as my kind of my go-to for everything. But it gives you a lot of options for what you wanna do. And then when you're done, all you have to do is go back into the recording itself. And you can say, hey, I want to stop recording. It will pop up in here. You can see that it recorded at 1440. I have the whole thing. I could download that as a GIF. I can do it as a PNG. Or I have the ability to share here. And when I share, I can share it out to Camtasia, which gives me even more editing options. So when I click on that, it's going to go through. It pops it up as a screen recording on my Camtasia area. And then I can scroll through here and we can see that we can see that it puts in the arrow that I drew and it will have all of the pieces that I wanted to do have in there. Now what I can do with Camtasia if I wanted to is this is going to be kind of saving me a little bit of time. So I can draw that arrow, which I can also do in Camtasia, but now I could also go into, let's say a custom motion and say, Hey, when that arrow is there, I want to scale this bad boy up. So it's zooming in onto that particular area. So now in combination with each other, uh, when we play this through, we can see that we have the hour going up, it zooms in, and we can see exactly what's going on just a little bit more. And there's a lot of cool options in here, but this one is really great for teaching software, teaching where to go on websites, teaching different things. I'm pretty excited about it. I can't wait to play with it a little bit more because uh, I think I'm going to be able to use it a whole bunch in a lot of different places. Let me know if you have questions, and I'll see you in our next video.